all my hair is just straight wild. Um, I don't know what that was. No Christmas shopping today. Yay! Said we're back in the cemeteries. What the hell is all over my face there? But anyway, so we come out to this one. We've been here a couple of times, a long time ago. I used to work up through here and um, would cover the history section for the county. And that led me to a lot of really cool cemeteries, but we have never vlogged any of them. So we're gonna check this out and see what we can see. So this was uh, formerly known as the Shoal Creek Cemetery. And it's right off of uh, 136 and Shoal Creek Road. And it belongs to that church over there, which is Bethel Baptist. But one of the uh, reasons, or one of the cool things about this cemetery, supposedly, is that uh, one of the oldest graves, one of the first graves in Dawson County is here. And I'm not real sure exactly where it's at, but uh, legend has it, and I will try to find out if this is true or not, but, uh, and if I even remember it correctly, and if anybody who knows knows, then please feel free to correct me. But uh, it was a family that was passing through on a wagon train, and they had like a three-year-old, two, three-year-old who had caught some form of dysentery or cholera. I can't remember what it was. Dysentery, diphtheria, cholera, something like that. But anyway, she passed away as they were coming through here. And they stopped in this area and they buried her. So, but I heard that it was in one of the far corners of the cemetery that I'm just walking through right now. Maybe we'll see if we can spy it. And then, of course, somebody wants to come through just as Tommy was about to fly his drone. But anyway, so they stopped here. They buried her. And I think they decided to stay and became one of the founding families of the town. So... Just a quick voiceover. So apparently I think we found it and it wasn't a girl. It was a boy. Um, and it was in a section that uh, Tommy actually took this and I didn't even notice it when I was looking in his pictures. So there you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I took that picture on the way back to the car. I think we walked up the other side and completely missed it. Yeah, I didn't even notice it. Pretty cool. Good find. But they have done a lot of work in redoing some of the monuments out here that have been destroyed but they're unmarked so they know their graves here but i don't think they know who the graves belong to so i don't know so I guess they know who these ones are. Those are fairly new. Let's look over this way. Oh, that's sweet. Mother was the charm of our home. The Jane Vodder, the mother and the grandmother of the Vodder family. She died 1884. I did cheat a little bit, y'all. I went on find a grave and uh, ooh, it's cold. 
and looked up some of the names here. And uh, there's some interesting ones. Americus, Arkansas. A Dorcas, AKA Dorcas. Tommy's gonna try to fly his drone, but it might be too windy. It's a baby. And a lot of these are, I think, founders of the county. Oh, those ones are cool. There in the shepherd's bosom, white as the drifted snow, is the little lamb. We missed one mourn from the household flock. Below. Oh. Might not be saying that correctly. Wouldn't be the first time, y'all. Victor. He's six years old. This is great Grady. He was three years old. I think they might have been brothers. Yep, they were brothers. That's terrible. There's a lot of babies here buried together. That's another one. Ray Reese. Robinson. A year old just under a year old well that's a beautiful one how pretty this one. it's a footstone yeah there's more infants right there a lot of kids in this section Oh, so that's a fairly new. You see the old underneath that one. Well done on that restoration. Well done. I always like these ones. Beautiful and beloved daughter. William Burt. It's like it says Annie. And that's William Burt. These were his children. There's probably more. His is a uh, pretty spectacular too. I would say that I'd run the ghost app, but honestly, it feels extremely peaceful out here. There's a buzzard though. There's a, another child, two year old. Yeah, it's very, very peaceful out here. I don't think that uh, 
I don't feel that there's anything lingering. But, of course, you know, we, sometimes we say that and we have no idea until we go to edit. See, that's, that's another kid. Another kid. I wonder if these are all children. Yep. Reverend Vaughters. Many May Vaughters. Cordelia and Homer. Cordelia, I love it. Reverend J.E. Blackburn. too degraded to be able to read. Gertrude. Y'all, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but that is actually one of my favorite names. I have a uh, cast iron skillet that was my great grandmother's that I use all the time it's from like 1860 or whatever and her name is gertrude <laughs> <laughs> oh in memory of our grandfather jacob Simmer simmerman he was killed accidentally june 22nd 1872. dang there's his wife. Ooh, Lucindy. Man, this cemetery is like a cornucopia of fantastic names. I love it. That one is too... It's like a manual... Baron could be Emily. I can't tell. I can't see the date. John and Francis Kelly. Oh, that one's completely gone. Well, it would be very peaceful if it wasn't for the high traffic, but I get it. It's like another kid. A lot of kids in this cemetery, which probably, A, number one, if it's true about that little kid being the first grave in the county, it'd probably be impossible to uh, find it. Because if it does have a gravestone, it probably looks something like that. This one looks interesting. This is a newer one, but man, is it pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. 
That is beautiful. Beautiful work. I'm going to go set that tree back up. There. That's better. So many, like, unmarked, man. It's a lot. Oh, that wind's cold. Hey, there's a car Karen grave over there. But... Bet it's not marked. We'll go check it out though. It is marked. Mary Wolf Graham. Born in 1794. She died in 1884. Yeah. Can't read a lot of these. Church is very pretty, very cute. They do a live nativity during the holiday season. Some really cool names. What'd you find? That one over there. Did you go to it? The corn? Huh? The stack stones? No, the one right there. The odd one out of that whole bunch. I went over there. I couldn't read anything on it. And some of these are so elaborate. Yeah. With yeah. The printings on them. I know. Did you see the Swaffords over there? I got uh, pictures of all the ones yeah. like that. That's kind of odd. Or unique, I should say. Odd. Yeah, this one here has got to be... It's got to be one of the oldest ones. But I couldn't read it neither died in April, but I can't. It looks like 1860. Maybe. That's what it looks two, like to me. Two of 1860, or 24, 1860. Yeah. April 24, 1860. Yeah. Yeah, I got a picture of it. But, uh, I don't know what it is with these unmarked. I think they, I think they did sonar here. They don't and they know that there's graves here, but they don't know who. Yeah, some of them the name on them and no dates or anything but a lot of them are just plain like this don't yeah have oh. it's a very peaceful cemetery yeah i can't say that i found the oldest one i think i don't if, know what these are i i think if it is true and it is out here in this one that it's probably one of these, or it's probably one of those like that one, where... Well, that is the only one I've seen like that. Yeah. Well, I've seen a couple of them back there, but they're not marked. They, well, you can't read them. Yeah. That's 1898. Well, on Find a Grave, I think the earliest one I could find was 1858. Uh, but I have not seen that one. It is cold. A lot of babies out here. There's a whole line of them out that way. But that's all it says. It don't yeah. say what year. Maggie E. Hall. 1878. But a lot of these are restored stones. Yeah. Because there's a beautiful one out there. Over there. Yeah. And you can see the old stacked stone underneath of it. Where they put the new slab over top of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pollard. I love that name too. Pollard. No, it's carved. Yeah, but it's carved to you. That looks like 79 to me, not a 19. I don't know. Well, I mean, look, 
I say carve too lightly, but carve too lightly for it to last as long. Yeah, as long as it can. And be readable. They have done a good job at restoring some of these. I wonder if they had the uh, 1905 diphtheria or the scarlet fever outbreak here like they did in Canton with so many young kids around the same age. Drone, were you? No. <laughs> I failed again. Batteries are dead. Rachel Kelly. You can't read this one. I know, I got a video of that one. That was the year that the county was founded. Come off in hope. That's what you don't want to hear. <laughs> well done, well kept. Just what we like to see. There's a mini <coughs> I know. Y'all, someday I'll tell you a story. Story time. No <laughs> Ding. <clears throat> well, this thing's got a different house system. Yeah, it is, isn't it? These are your children, too. Yep. 1934. 24. 24. 1919. So they're all their children. Monty Gertrude. John Darnell. Mr. and Mrs. John Darnell. So Cynthia moved on, eh? Yep. This one, Ira. One year. Oh. Well, yeah. Sleep on, sweet babe, and take thy rest. God call thee home. He thought it best. I didn't see the back of this one. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I've seen it in a couple spots. That's the only time I've seen it. I thought something got spilled on there. I don't know what it is. Huh. Anybody knows what that is? Let us know. Yeah. I'm going to run my plant out and see if it'll ID it. So that is called yellow colic root. Hmm. Walk over here and check out this one. hoping like if our daughter decides to have another baby she'll give it one of these unique names oh these stones are different though pink granite Orville and Ruth her mother's arms to the arms of Jesus 
Well, well all right. right. Welcome back. We time that so <laughs> perfect. It's like we've been doing this a long I know. Time. Like we've been doing it for three years. So what would you tell me about their great... Uh... So, <laughs> so their corner, whoever it was at that time, um, wasn't very good. He sounded fine to <laughs> me. It was, well, one of them was a woman, and oh. I, I didn't look at the, the one for the other one, but... So she sounded fine to me. When you go to... When you look at... Uh, America's Arkansas's cause of death pretty much says no I it literally says doesn't pretty much it literally says no idea it was DOA yeah dead on arrival uh something never I, before IDK and and basically IDK <laughs> and then, and then you go to poor old Vestas who was 24 years old he was a framer and it appears to say tubes T U B E S yeah T U B E E S. So I don't I don't know how tubes could have killed him because that was beyond tubes in the ears. I don't, so I, 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 I don't know unless his tubes in his heart were bad or <laughs> something. Anyway, there wasn't a whole lot of explanation to go on from there. They might have known what they're talking about. But this cemetery was a, a literal treasure trove of cool ass names. These and cool ass. Yeah, their, Memorials. Head, their, their headstones were, some of them were just so cool. And elaborate. Yeah. The church is cute as a button. It really is. I've never been inside that church. Um, I would love to see inside of it, because I'm sure it's as pretty on the inside hey, as it is. I heard it's out. open on Sundays. <laughs> nope. Actually, that one is only once a month service, Tommy. You could not have corrected me. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to keep you honest. But I do love and really appreciate the restoration they have done on that cemetery. And even though half of the markers are blank, I get it. You know, that I think is one of the oldest and first cemeteries in the county. Like, you know, accessible anyway that I know of. But uh, so I, I get it. The records were probably kind of sketchy and it's kind of hard to figure out who was who and yeah, where was right, where. Yeah. I was able to validate. That the oldest grave, or one of the oldest graves in Dawson County, one of the first graves was yeah, in man. in that cemetery. I found it. I like I said, I used to work up in that area, and I used to do the historical section for the newspaper every year. And so I have a book, and the book confirmed that. So I looked it up. Yep. As I was putting this video together, I noticed that picture, and I was like, "Well, wait a minute." And so, I think that's it. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, cool place in Dawson County, just off the intersection of uh, Shoal Creek Road and 136. Yep. Um, beautiful church. Check it out during Christmas times. Like I said, they do a lot of nativity. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time. Bye-bye. Stay, Stay spicy. spicy.